Hi, it's Romola and it is Monday the 28th. It's the back holiday here in the UK, which means that uh, it's one of the things you sort of forget what day it is. So I thought, oh, I haven't done my, my readings for the week. So here we go. So I'll just turn these decks around to the right way around. So this is using the Rise of the Warrior deck. So we are going to be looking for a few cards around the energies for this week, things that we can look at and watch. Let me just close that door. Oh, next door, but one's dog is off barking. We have a bit of a barker, oops, but she doesn't tend to be the dog, be the barker that barks. She's the barker that barks back. Anyway, see if that helps. So I pull three cards around the energies and support for this week, things that we can use to support our, ourselves this week. And then we'll do the one, two, three. So the first card we have, oh, we have loyalty. Isn't that funny talking about dogs? This card came up, I think, on Saturday. So with, it's a man with their dog, that loyalty, that support. It's so funny that this card is the one that's come up with the, the dog barking its head off. So I'm going to just use the book because I spoke about this, like I say, on Saturday. And we'll just see if there's anything else there. So it's saying um, loyalty comes in all shapes and sizes. A dog, the dog symbolises the ability to devote oneself to a spiritual path or person, offers unconditional love, loyalty and protection, wants nothing more than to be there for you. Um, if, you're feel, if you feel you're missing something in your life, know that spirit is always there to support and guide you. So a little bit different to the message, so I think that's important. So like I said, when the card came up on Saturday, I would think, yes, look at your um, way. Is your loyalty being reciprocated? Um, do you have boundaries of, to support your energy um, and support your loyalty? Is your loyalty founded in truth? I wish that dog had stopped barking. Um, um, yeah, and be loyal to yourself, I think is the key, key thing here is tap into your energies and what that means for you, how that feels for you, whether something is right or wrong, whether an action is to do or to leave it. Um, <clears throat> tap into your own energies is the first message. And then we have card number two is light worker. And I don't think I've ever had this card out before. You are in service. So this card is about work on your spiritual practice we are all here if you're watching this you are an, an a being of light you are here to make a difference to shine your beacon to whoever it is that is around you that is picking up on it to be that energy that positivity to be that spoke person for the truth for the joy for the love for, to be here for healing and support um so where can you shine your light? Where can you recognise or can you recognise that you are actually here as a light worker, as a light being for all the beautiful things in the world? And our third energy card is oh, very interesting, very apt, fall into autumn. So last week we were down on holiday in Somerset and it was beautiful. We had blue skies, it was hot, it was absolutely fabulous. It has been like September. We are a week away from September, we're end of the week of September. Um, so autumn is close, so it's very inapt that this fall into autumn, time to let go. I always feel that the return to school with that, and my birthday as well falls in, um, is this week, is just that ability just to think, right, I need to clear the decks, to declutter, to let things go, to focus on what it is that I really want and what I desire. So, it's very much an energy to um, look to nature. The trees, they let go of their leaves, but they come back in the spring. The beautiful limey green comes back in the spring. The leaves are there, but you'd, sometimes you just need to go within. So this card, I would suggest, um, particularly if you're getting, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if the energies and the, the um, and there's a lot of energies going on at the moment that are quite heavy. Take yourself in, go inwards, be, do that coziness. Go and get yourself a, hot, a, a beautiful warm drink and a huge blanket and go for a nap. Light a candle, do some journaling, do listen to some music, do some um, crochet, knitting, embroidery, whatever it is that fills you with joy and allows you just to mindfully go within um, 
and don't be afraid to do the letting go letting things go so whether it's decluttering um clearing out getting better boundaries um even people letting them go with love so they are the three important energies for this week let me just see and i will we'll pull a one two three um They get stuck and that just means well, I've still got to be able to put the cards back in. So card number one. This is card number two. And card number three. One, two, three. So if you chose card number one, we have this one for karma, cause and effect. So I do you know what I'm going to karma is one of those things that it, it, I don't know, it's not always the easiest to talk about. Okay, so we have Vishnu, the preserver and protector of the universe and the supreme enforcer of karma. According to the law of karma, whatever thoughts or energy you put out, you get back, whether this is good or bad. So in order to get what you want, you have to embody and be worthy of those things. It is the concept of what you reap, you sow. Yeah, so... This, this card, if you chose card number one, is about being the energy that you want to receive. I think there's a Gandhi um, quote, which is like, be the light that you wish to see. It's about, in, like the word is, embodying the energy that you want, giving it out what you want to receive. And that is the reciprocal energy. So that's card number one. Card number two, we have this one, purity. And it's seeing the soul within. So this is about being clear. Um, we've spoken about letting things go with the, the energy of that autumn, of that let, the decluttering, the clearing out. I'm, I'm sensing a need to sort of literally just to scrub the energy. So having a salt bath, having a salt, using salt as a shower scrub to cleanse that energy, to clear it out, to clear the physical energy. Um, use your use sprays or sage or incense or just simply go around and use sound, you know, clap your hands into all the rooms of the house just to clear and raise the vibration, get that energy of purity into your, your physical space. That is then going to help you to do your divine connection, to be on a higher vibration level, to be on an energy where the lower things are not going to affect you so much. That's card number two. And then card number three, we have Yang, which is the rise of the divine masculine. So it's interesting that we've got a full moon here. I think we've just had a new moon. Had a new moon two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So, And we've got a blue moon in August. I, th I, haven't, got my, I haven't got my diary with me, but I've got a feeling we've, we've got a blue moon. The second blue moon in August is, and it can't be long, it must be building. So use the energy of the full moon to cleanse, clear, declutter. Again, that declutter is the word that comes out, but it's not just about physical stuff. It's about stuff that's here, about clearing it all out, getting rid of those thoughts, blocks, um, beliefs that are tying you down and not serving you. The full moon is a great energy to do that. And I'm going to pop in a little offer, actually, because that, that blue moon has just reminded me. And it's interesting, this card is very blue as well. The divine masculine is all about the doing. So the, the feminine is about being, and this is about the doing. So this card, if you chose card number three, doing is about getting rid of the stuff that's cluttering up here, that's affecting you on multiple levels. It's about getting clear about in ready you know and if we can do this for the next two weeks to have a good clear out on the, the full moon then that means that when it's the new moon in a few weeks time we are a clearer channel to know what we want to plant what seeds of desires what rockets of desire we are wanting to use the moon energy for so that is card number three so three very different messages there is obviously a quite a big link through these around your energy looking after your energy clearing and releasing your things that aren't serving you that are getting in the way um that perhaps you know like i say thoughts beliefs limiting beliefs energy blocks all that sort of stuff that's just been sitting here um and we can then see um you can that will put you in a 
better space for the week but being able to then go in and look after yourself i take i wish you all a beautiful week and i will be back shortly um yeah with a with the the day the week the message in a minute so take care bye bye